Hey guys, I'm Cookies143. I'm gonna be showing you how to make a complex snowflake or star. Just to make kind of like an ornament to put on your tree or to give to someone. I don't have anything to show you because right now all of them are on my tree. So within making that complex star, you can kind of make a smaller star in that. I'll just show you how to make the whole star and then show you the smaller star while I'm making it. Okay. okay, well, what you will need is your string like normal, your freaking scissors, and whatever color you're using. I'm going to be using different colors for the different like parts so you can see what's happening. So I'm going to start off with a red. And you're just going to first put the beads on the string like normal. And you put 12 beads on the string. Okay, you should have 12 beads. <clears throat> You have 12 beads on here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Like that. Okay. My hands are a little sweaty. It's not what that happened. Probably because it's hot in here. Okay. Now what we're going to do is tie them. Tie this off. So it can be like a little circle. Hopefully these things don't fly out my hand. And try to kind of make it tight while you're tying it. Don't make it too tight where the string will break. Because that has happened. And dog is barking. Okay, tight. One more time. Okay, now cut off your access string. So this small one. Hopefully no one barges in my room. And then the string that should already still be attached to this. Just cut off however long you think you should cut off. Just whatever you're comfortable with. Just cut kind of long. And so we're going to start. Make sure your thread is coming out of a bead. If it isn't just string it through whatever bead you want, doesn't really matter, so I'm treating it. Okay, now I'm gonna change colors to Ugh, blue, why not? It's going to dark blue. Okay, we're gonna put five on there, five beads. Make sure I'm doing this right. Okay, five beads. Now, what we're gonna do is get the string and put it through the next bead. Not this one, I mean, let me repeat that. <laughs> we're gonna put it through, we're gonna skip a bead and put it through this bead. So skip this one, go through this one. So it should be like that. It'll look funny at first, but you'll see what's happening. And we're going to repeat that. Put five beads on. I'll do one more, then I'll hurry up and skip on to the next step. So it's not a long video. Two, three, four, five. Okay. Again, you skip a bead and go on to this bead, the next one. Like that. Alright. And just repeat that until you get to your last bead, which should be the first bead you strung from. 
Okay, now I'm at my last one. So I'm just gonna put on I5 beads now. Just make an example again. Hopefully this music isn't too loud. Okay, remember. Oh yeah, and you can also, while doing this, when you first have this, before you put on the extra beads, you can like pop the beads in to make like this type of circle so you know where to put the thread at when you're stringing on the beads. So it can be easier for you. So, you know, skip a bead, put the string through the bead that you started off with. Okay, now when you're done with that, I don't know why you guys are freaking out. When you're done with that, you're gonna tie it off. So, just in case one row breaks, they don't all break. I'm gonna do this with all my rows. So they can say like, strong. Where I'm gonna tie it off at is just where the string is coming out of. So. through here then like eh. it's gonna be under this bead where I'm pulling at then put it through the loop now I'm messing up horribly okay. pull and tighten and you do that a few times so they can stay tight. Like doing it once really is not going to help. Ew. I thought they were leaving. Nope. People came in. Please don't come in my room. I'm doing something right now. Good God. Do. Okay. I probably can only do it three times. I would normally do it more, but right now it is not doing what I want it to do. Don't know why it's acting like this. Okay, now when you're done with that, your string should still be in the same place that it was once before. If it isn't, then I don't know what to tell you. Go to a new place so you can put the thread or string excuse me through this bead so it can be coming out of yeah 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 One, two, three. holy crap I totally messed up on that one well I'm gonna have to fix that aren't I be right back okay now, since I fixed my little problem there, okay, <laughs> now what we're doing, we're going to get the string and put it through this bead right here and go up to this bead so it can come, to, so it can that, be coming out that way. <laughs> That's why if you put an extra bead on, it won't work out the same, okay? Oh, yes. No, you don't want to focus. Well, I hope they see that. I want to change a song so badly. I really do wish this camera would focus better on this thingy. Maybe it can... No? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Should be coming out the top bead. This way. Okay. Now. I'm gonna get a different color. Which will not be pink. It might have to be pink. Damn it, not wall. It's gonna be white. I'm gonna put four beads on the string. Just 
you do? Okay. Now, you should have your four beads. Now, we're just going to go over to this one, the other top bead, and put the thread through, the string, whatever. Like that. I hope I have enough, enough white beads here. Oops, not the count needs to be charged. And again, through the top bead, after you put four beads on the string. And just proceed to do that until you get to this one. The one that you started off from. Then we'll go on to the next step. Okay. Okay, now we're at the last part. I have my four beads. I'm gonna put the string through the stop bead where we started off at. Yes. Like this. Now, we're going to tie it off again where we're at because moving makes no sense. Now with this part, like that, and like that. Okay, with this part, don't do it too tight. Because it starts, like, to go in, and we don't want that happening. So you can easily flatten it out. But, for the time being, we don't want it to start going in. What am I doing? Make sure I'm doing this right too. Yeah, 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 I'm doing this right. I could easily mess up. Uh oh. Like now, I could easily mess up. Like now, what am I doing? Oh, oh, okay. I got this. Should have never took that app. All right. Now that we're done. This man, Bar wants you to come down there and eat. All right, I'll come down there after I'm done with this. Are you guys down there now? Yeah, that's where everybody is. Okay, I'll come down there after I'm done with this. Just tell her I'll be oh, no. like a few, like 10 minutes, okay. maybe, hopefully 10 minutes. Okay, that was my brother. Okay, now the string pro is probably coming out of this bead. Now this is when we're going to have to be coming out of the one of the white beads. So it can, when you're throwing it on the beads, you're going to go like this to this next white bead. So I'm just going to get my shrink and make it go through all these white beads until it's out of here. It shouldn't be that hard. It's going through two. I really do wish this camera would focus. It's not, I don't like it. Okay, now should be coming out of this bead, white bead, whatever color you're using. Now get three, get three beads, whatever, the next color. Shall be black for me. I didn't really think this through, I just needed different colors. Get three black beads or whatever, put them on your string. Now, skip this blue one gonna go to the next white one. So it should be white one immediately after the blue one. Like that. And then just get the string and put it through the next the next three white beads until it's coming out of this one. And then we're gonna repeat this process all the way through. I shall do this one more time for your amusement.
three. Okay, then. Now you shall repeat that process until you're at this white bead where we started at. Then we'll go on to the next process. <laughs> Alright, I totally lied when I said the starting bead. I meant just the last one. I'm so sorry. I'm kind of stupid. Now, oh yeah, and I'm so sorry for sniffling in the camera. I'm getting over a cold. So I know it sounds disgusting, but I'm sorry. Now, when you're at the last one that you're doing, not the where you're beginning next. I'm used to that, sorry. Get your three black beads or whatever color you're using. Okay, put them on a drink. And um put them through this one. Now we're gonna thread over to actually we don't have to actually thread over but I want to. Now you can tie it off here where we're at or go over here. I just like going over here. So I'm gonna just put my string through the next three beads. <clears throat> and to tie it off. Stay. <clears throat> Your God, this is why I don't get sick. Now, this is the one that gets like, not weird, it just, so pretty much when you're done with it, you could, I'm trying to think, sorry, to see if it'll be an easier way to do this. Not really, alright, just do it the way I was normally going to do it. Now, we're going to cut off the string. For the last part, because there's not really going to be any threading. If you still have string left, use it. Now, go to whatever top one, and I mean this. There you go through. Get your string, put it through the top bead. Oops, my bad. The top bead. Put it through top bead. Alright, so it should be like that. Now, um,. What's the next color? What's the next color? Uh, blue again. Because I want it to be blue. Now, get the next three beads. It's going to be three. And put them on the wood, whatever end of the string you prefer. Okay, now. They should be on one end of the string. Tie it off. Have two ends, just tie it. Dear God, what if they turn on that heater? My hands are sweaty. That is not adorable at all. Oh eh. Now, ooh, 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 okay. Should be like that. And just tie off, tie off, I mean, cut off. The excess string and do that again. You pretty much do that again all the way around. I'll show you one more time. Then I'll also, after we do this, I'll just show you how 
to tie on a, a paper clip so you can make it into an ornament. Get your 3 beads. I hope this isn't too loud. Tie it off. Please don't break. What is it? Remember, if it's like doing some crazy stuff, just position it back into its normal place. Cut off the axis string. Keep doing it all the way around until you get to the last one. Then I'll show you how to tie on a paper clip so you can make it into a pretty ornament. Alright, now when you're done with this, it should look like this. Your beautiful snowflake thingy or star. Now, when you're done, get your paper clip. If you want to do this, it's really optional, but it'd be cool to put on your tree. Get your paper clip. I recommend a small one. A huge one will get in the way. And just kind of do that to it. Bend it. And get your string. Oh, dear God. I totally need more string. Eh. Get a... Oh, that's the last of my string. And put it through one of the top thingies, whatever they're called. Oh yeah, I totally need more string. This is ridiculous. Get your paper clip and put one end of the string. Get closer. Put each one end of the string through the paper clip. So it should be like that. Like you're threading on a new bead, if you know what I'm talking about, and it's falling. And then just pull, so they should, you should be like Xing over each other. This is definitely not what's happening right now. Eh, I keep messing up. Don't look, seems like I don't know what I'm doing, but I do. I have to redo this for myself. And pretty much when you do that, you have an X over and you pull. Oh god, this is gonna make me mad. You didn't do this last time. There we go, okay. Just gonna tie it. Because normally when you tie it, it goes into an angle that is very convenient, so like the star or snowflake can show better. And then cut off your excess. And it would normally like do this on its own, so that's really convenient. And then that's how you have your little ornament snowflake type thingy. Now I gotta go down to my neighbor's house and eat, or else she will get mad at me. I will give this to her because, well, why not? Okay, so thank you for watching. Hopefully this was helpful. If it wasn't, I'm sorry. Okay, I'll see you in my next video.